Okay, so we've modified our issue display form so that it only shows the time entries that correspond to the specific issue. Now we need to take the script that we wrote from the blog and uh, use it to override the add new item link so that it calls the new item to function and also passes in the ID of the issue to the new time form so the new time form can use that ID from the query string to set the value uh, of the issue ID from the time list. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the display form again. So let's go to list default display form and we are going to add a web part. This time we are adding a content editor web part and we want to edit the web part so that we can point it to our script. So under the content link we want to put the path to the script which is site assets display issue.js I always click on test link to make sure I didn't fat finger something and then I apply it. Oh, while we're at it let's go ahead and make the web part hidden because a hidden web part is still executed and we don't need it to display anything and then let's stop editing. So now when we view an issue if you scroll over the add new item link you see at the bottom of the toolbar that it's calling the new item to function and passing in a query string of issue ID equals one which is the ID of this issue. Uh, the next thing we need to do now is edit the new time form so that when the user goes to that this issue ID is already set based upon that query string that we're now passing in. Alright so let's get to that in the next video.